Hang on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen, because it's about to get weird on this one. Welcome back to another bout of fantasy fighting on Grudge Match Unlimited, the show that scours the depths of the fictional universes to find comparable characters who are worlds apart and asks the age-old question, what would happen if they fought? And today we are going way outside the box to come up with a comparison no one saw coming. In a fantasy bout of Fantastical Children's Fair pitting Troll against Ogre, Green and Stinky against Red and Hairy, it's the lovable lug from Labyrinth, Ludo the Night Troll, against the titular anti-hero from far, far away, Shrek the Ogre. Aside from both being fantasy creatures beloved by both children and adults alike, these two characters also both tend to be misjudged and often gentle giants that surround themselves with smaller and weaker friends whom they befriend and protect with fierce loyalty and journey with their companions on quests across their respective fictional lands that require them to use their great strength and imposing natures to ride them out to completion. So taking a look at them individually and starting with Ludo, the night troll from the 1986 film Labyrinth, Ludo was met by the main character Sarah as she saved him from being attacked by goblins. He's a big and imposing creature, one of the largest creatures in the Labyrinth actually. And though he looks monstrous and frightening, he has a very gentle soul and gentle nature. But while he prefers to be non-violent when at all possible, that doesn't mean he can't get down and dirty when he needs to. He is quite large and quite powerful, and he has had cause to use his great size and strength in fights against, most notably, the goblins of the Goblin City. However, he is slow and rather lacking in intelligence, so that decreases his maneuverability at the trade-off of having the large size and strength. Ludo is loyal and loving and is constantly on the lookout to try to make friends with as many as possible, and to that goal he is even befriended and made friends with inanimate objects, most notably the rocks of the labyrinth. He can summon and control the rocks around him and cause them to move on their own, uh, causing them to be able to smash into his enemies and help him out in fight situations. Ludo is a stark contrast to the land in which he inhabits, as the land of the labyrinth and most of its inhabitants tend to be very tricky and confusing in nature, whereas Ludo is honest, direct, and very caring about those he comes to regard as his friends. Shrek, the title character from the 2001 Shrek film, and then the three other sequels, as well as spin-off mini-episodes, video games, and even a musical, is an ogre, an inhabitant of the land of Far, Far Away. For most of the films, he tends to be the only ogre we see, with the exception of his wife Fiona, but we get to see some other ogres throughout the course of the films, and we see that Ogres tend to be very large, very powerful, very disgusting and lacking in hygiene, but also very proud of the fact they revel in their disgusting natures, and Shrek is no different. Shrek is also one of the better fighters in his land of far, far away. Ogres tend to be very large, very imposing creatures, and Shrek is no exception. He has been seen to be able to engage multiple opponents and be able to defeat them rather soundly. In addition to his large size and strength, Shrek is also quite fast, quite agile, and quite skilled on his feet. So this makes him a bit of a double threat, not only strong, but also quite quick and light on his feet as well. Additionally, he has an additional benefit of being very quick-witted, intelligent, and resourceful. Despite the general belief in the fictional land of Far Far Away that ogres are dumb and savage creatures, Shrek belies this by being quite intelligent and being able to use his resourcefulness to find interesting and intelligent ways of defeating larger, more powerful opponents. So having examined these two characters, it's time to determine what would happen if they were to cross paths and happen to find themselves in a fight. The winner would be... Ludo. Despite the fact that Shrek has the speed and intelligence advantage, which would give him an upper hand in a fight if that was all that was being brought to bear between these two, fist to fist and claw to claw and power to power, 
it would might go to Shrek, except for Ludo's X Factor of being able to summon and control the rocks. Now, despite the fact that Ludo considers his rocks his friends, this is not necessarily the case because rocks are inanimate objects, of course. Even in the fictional land of the labyrinth, they don't have personalities, they don't tend to talk or communicate or show any hint of independent thought. They just respond to Ludo's commands. So this has to be seen as a sort of terrakinesis, the basic general ability to control the movement of the earth and the rocks. So this is a very, very potent ability that allows him to essentially have an unlimited supply of projectiles to smash into Shrek, which would be a very critical turning point in the fight. Even though Shrek would be faster, being able to move around Ludo, and smarter, being able to think of better ways to attack him, at some point in the fight, Ludo would call to his rocks, they would respond, and that would essentially be the end of the fight for Shrek. So in this match, Ludo, the night troll from Labyrinth, is going to take the victory and the win of this grudge match unlimited. So thanks for watching, leave me your comments down below about what you thought of the outcome of this fight, and as always, any suggestions for future grudge matches. We'll see you next time on the next edition of Grudge Match Unlimited.